Oh, well, it's about time. I was about to leave. I'll take the dry-aged tech news. Medium rare, hold the caprese. I tell you, this neighborhood is going to sh it's been about two years since the RTX 30 series launched, and even though many of us haven't been able to get our hands on one, you can't stop progress. And it now appears that the RTX 40 series will be released earlier than expected. I've tried to stop a GPU release before. Did not go well. Straight to jail. Well-known leaker Copite7Kimmy has indicated we'll be getting the new generation of GPUs in either July or August of this year. Copite said in a separate tweet that the RTX 4090 will be twice as fast as the 3090, and that we should expect products further down the product stack coming with significantly boosted amounts of VRAM. That's what you like to see. That's what, James, you love VRAM. Stop replying to my heckles. In recent years, NVIDIA has waited until September to make their new GPU available. Hopefully, this means production is ahead of schedule. Although you know who else said their new GPUs were coming this summer? Elon. Int uh, uh, sorry, sorry, no. The other, Intel. And I have, still haven't seen one of their GPUs. Over to CPU land now, where it's looking like AMD's upcoming Zen 4 architecture is going to be a significant improvement over Zen 3, not just the incremental boost that we've become accustomed to with each new CPU generation. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be big, big moves. Leaks of a Zen 4 chip believed to be the Ryzen 7800X indicate that its single threaded performance could be up as much as 37% compared to the 5800X, thanks to a combination of higher clock speeds of up to 5.2 gigahertz and more instructions per clock. While we shouldn't be expecting more cores, many applications are still affected more by single-threaded performance, so it's not surprising to see Team Red focus more on that. Instead, especially since they've already proved they can put a lot of cores in. It's like those clown cars with like 30 clowns inside. Digital-only consoles without an optical drive are becoming more popular, but what if you got a big library of games on disc that you want to keep playing without giving them their own room in your house? They're not your teenager. Microsoft might just have a plan to help you out as they filed a patent to allow gamers to verify ownership of a physical game and then be granted a digital license. Oh, it's happening. Considering their own Xbox Series S as a digital only console, this solution could be a heck of a lot better than forcing gamers to buy the same title twice if it comes to fruition. But do I still own it? Google does. <laughs> There's no word yet on what equipment a user would need to go through the verification process. Like, do you need to prove that you're a real gamer? How would you do that? To describe a game, it's Angry Birds. Different shirt time! Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Pulseway, the platform that gives you the power to remotely manage all the devices in your network with just your voice. It's more powerful than you think. Use your diaphragm. We're talking central control of all your desktop, servers, and network devices through Pulseway's intuitive and easy interface on both desktop and through the mobile app, which now has support for voice commands. You can run a script, remotely connect to a system, reset a password, build an automation workflow, and more. So what are you waiting for? Try Pulseway for free and secure a free year of service when you sign up for a multi-year plan using the link below. Quick bits will sometimes come to you in the night. Do not open your eyes no matter what you hear. Focus on my voice. <laughs> Do you like your graphics cards in brown and beige? Great news, Noctua and Asus are making another one. This time, it's an RTX 3080. Previously, the 3070 was the only card to come in a Noctua edition, but due to crazy demand, Asus decided to partner with the Austrian-based cooler manufacturer once again. Austrian? -based? Austrian? Austrian-based? Austria-based. Austria-based, and they're Austrian. Look out for its launch sometime this month, and turn all your lights off when it arrives. It does not like bright colors. It will freak out. If your graphics card can push 480 frames per second, you're in luck as LG and AUO Optronics are reportedly working- The O stands for Optronics. AU, AU. <laughs> They're reportedly working on displays that can support 480 hertz for both desktops and laptops. The company showed off demos of the displays this week, although they are still very much prototypes, so don't expect to see these on shelves anytime soon. I don't even know why you'd want 480 frames per second. It makes them so much harder to count. Uber is expanding its offerings to include more options for folks who don't just want to get from A to B. Users can now rent a party bus through its new Uber charter service and select civities. That's what I call them. Festivities. Hmm. Along with slightly more boring regular buses and vans. Uber is also rolling out a feature called Uber Travel, which hooks into your Gmail to schedule rides to places like hotels, airports, and restaurants where you have reservations. Pretty convenient, but you also have to be cool with letting Uber catch a ride through your inbox. There are some sites to see. I just want an Uber driver who's a great conversationalist. He, he will be, because he's read all your email. <laughs> Batteries are expensive, so how about powering your gadgets with 
Algae? Researchers at Cambridge have been using a device containing blue-green algae to power an ARM Cortex M0 Plus CPU core with nothing more than ambient light and water for over a year. In the future, this could be a viable alternative to batteries in low-power IoT devices, as long as you don't drop them doing an algae carpet thing, squishy. And you can finally catch a glimpse of the supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers released a composite image from the Event Horizon Telescope of the black hole, dubbed Sagittarius A-star, and the bright ring of accreted? material surrounding it. Was that right, James? It was, but black hole and A star, I'm getting a lot of butthole vibes here. <laughs> it should be a B hole at least. Although it just looks like a blurry photo of an onion ring at first glance, scientists can compare the image's data to a 2019 image of a different black hole at the center of another galaxy to gain insight into the fundamentals of how our universe works. It's an onion ring. It's just, it's just all onion rings. It's onion rings all, all the way, way down. down. Ah. And it's time for you to learn that this episode is over. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news or soon. I'm not making any promises, but I am doing one of these. <laughs>